Hi, Tom here, uh, talking about attic ventilation, insulation, and uh, keeping your house comfortable and healthy. Uh, if you watched my previous video, I was talking about putting in an attic fan, and one of the things that I discussed quite a bit was having a good inflow of air from the bottom level of your attic out through the top, through the roof. Um, so a couple things I talked about were soffit vents at the bottom and how in many modern houses the soffit vents are obstructed so here today I'm going to be adding some intake vents in a very handy spot in my roof that will uh, allow more air to come up through the bottom level and exit through the top. One of the other things that I wanted to touch upon in today's video is the idea of gable vents and uh, traditionally a gable vent is a slatted vent that's on the, horizontally on the wall but traditionally it was at the very top apex of a point where the two roof halves met so uh, I'll show you a picture of that and that's the traditional way a gable vent refers to and it wasn't really to create an upflow of air so much as to allow a cross ventilation between uh, the north and south side of a house or the east and west side of an attic. Um, so fast forward to today and we have very different kinds of roofing systems often that uh, meet in a pyramid at the top and so there is no horizontal wall in which to add a gable vent. So sometimes when you're talking about a gable vent for a modern house you could be talking about a uh, vent that's installed on a horizontal wall that's at a lower level than the apex where the top of the roof meets. So since it is lower, that gable vent can have the same effect as a soffit drawing in air. So here you can see an example of a gable vent. It is at the apex of that roof. However, towards the left you see a higher pyramid designed roof that doesn't have any place to put a gable vent but of course on the back side of this house in some neighborhoods they like to hide them there are exit vents at the top um, on the back side of the house so this is my house and you can see that there is a uh, it's kind of hard to see from this angle but the apex pyramid rooftop over there is really a lot higher up than these outcropping smaller uh, roofs that project forward and it wouldn't be a bad idea to put a gable vent in um, one of these shorter roofs to allow air to come in at a lower level and then go up uh, and exit taking hot air out at the top. All right so for today's additional vent what we're going to be installing is we're going to be daisy chaining these three vents and the reason I'm daisy chaining three vents is the exterior soffit vents at Home Depot uh, only cost $1.80 each whereas a 24 inch by uh, 18 inch interior metal nice uh, sturdy vent cost $39 so I, I kind of weighed the cost benefit analysis and definitely went with these less expensive exterior soffit vents and the place where they're going to go is in this alcove right near the entrance of the, the house. Up here is, an, is a, a very easy to penetrate ceiling that goes straight up into the attic. And I've been up there in the attic right above here and also above the bedroom that's adjacent to it. It gets extremely hot. So adding soffit vent here uh, is going to help the airflow up. Uh, towards the top by having more inflow air at the bottom and this def this house definitely has 80% uh, of the soft vents obstructed um, so it needs more intake air alright so the hole's been cut it was uh, measured out after I put the three soft vents together daisy chained them per se so to say by putting a nut with a, a screw with a nut bolt there and another one there it's kind of turned all three of them into one piece then I used the uh, tool I talked about last time the simple drywall saw to cut through 
that material there and make a hole that's just right. Uh, I'm going to leave it open for a little while before I screw on the vent. I, I want to clean up the inside up there a little bit. I already vacuumed it some, but uh, since it's going to be going straight up and over to the rest of the attic, I'm going to clean it up a little bit before putting on the vent and we'll have a lot more intake soffit level venting going on now that this hole is there. Uh, as I stood on top of the ladder and I and I finished making the hole, I could feel air coming up, cool air from below coming up and going up towards the top. That's what we want. A lot of these jobs, when you're cutting through drywall, where you're cutting through that MDF, that brown board that I just cut through, is very dusty. So I just love this machine right here. It's a leaf blower, but I often, often, often use it to blow dust out of my garage or if I'm outdoors and I'll just finish cutting something dirty, blow the dust away. All right, so the hole is all cut out and I decided I would make the edge of the uh, MDF material that that whiteboard is made of protected just a little bit by taping it over with white um, masking tape. It doesn't matter that it's, it's white. I actually bought white masking tape for some other thing, but um, it's a little cleaner. Uh, it definitely protects that edging. If it does ever get uh, really damp up there, it shouldn't uh, ever be, be subject to rain or anything, but of course uh, it might become damp. Um, so, the, and, and the other thing is, I went up into the attic and uh, it's cooler up there. This is a much improved ventilation now from the soffit level, from the lowest level of the attic. Uh, much improved airflow coming through that. I also tested it out with a uh, stick of incense for like a smoke test to see, see how the airflow was doing. And sure enough, a lot of air is moving up through there um, and it's definitely going up and taking hot air out through the top. Now we've been talking a lot about soffit vents and how they can often be obstructed in your modern house. So I just want to show you one and some of the ways they can be obstructed. Uh, I had my helper um, help me get everything set up for this shot. So this is the eve of your roof. Um, and right up under there is a grill, a vent cover grill for your soffit vent. Um, this one I've taken down previously, but uh, put it back up there just to show you what it'll look like before you remove the grill. So here's one of the basic problems that can happen with a soffit vent that's reducing the uh, airflow, is that uh, the cutout can be smaller than the size of the soffit itself. So um, you can go in and you can then cut it all, cut it out, um, and make the soffit soffit bigger. So you see, this is the, only the size of the of the air entrance, whereas the the right size is the entire gray area. Um, then another thing is that over time, these grills are really small. The holes in them can very e easily become uh, filled up with dust um, and further reduce the amount of air that goes through. And already, it's really small. Uh, some of these are actually just painted over. So the original, the original grills in my my house were painted over, which means there was no airflow going through. So here's an example of the soffit with the grill removed and replaced instead of the grill just some um, patio door, you know, insect vent cover. So that prevents anything from going, trying to live up in the attic, but it lets a lot more airflow than the grill. And also um, use the drywall knife to open up the size of the vent. That's uh, two ways your soffits could be obstructed. Uh, it could be painted over, it could not have a hole cut out behind it, or it could have too small of a hole cut out behind it but uh, you can discover these things if they're a problem in your house from outside. Uh, here we are in the attic again, and you can see what a soffit vent should look like from the attic. You should see plenty of light. That means there's plenty of air being able to come 
up through there. Now if you look on all this other sides of the house, these sides of the house are where the, the soffits that I was showing you from outside are located and you don't see any light. That's because there's uh, insulation stuffed on top of them and the uh, soffit baffles are just minuscule, they're way too small. So we're going to be opening those up in, uh, to increase the ventilation up here as well. So that wraps up our segment on soffit vents. An item of your house that few people will ever see and even fewer people will ever think about. But if it's up there doing its job and you want a nicely ventilated attic, it's a very important part of your home's structure. So here we have the front of the house going in. And of course, if you come in, you'll never think to look up and see that there is a new soffit vent installed up there doing its thing.